2016, but not quite. The venue will be the same, the disciplines will be the same, most of the international competitors will be the same, and the Laporte, Traps and Clays will be the same. However, this is not the Olympics, but an opportune dress rehearsal, an ISSF World Cup event. It's a perfect opportunity for the teams to test the water and familiarise themselves with the Diodoro Shooting Stadium. Some are used to the big events, for others though, like GB Shooter Amber Hill, it's very new. For me, I'm using it as a World Cup, I'm obviously here to win, but also to learn a lot from it and get a lot of experience before going into the games in August. I'm taking sort of everything one step at a time but I will still be here to put in my very best performance and hopefully come away with a medal, but we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> Negotiating the traffic to get to the Diodoro from Rio de Janeiro takes patience. It's like the M25 on a Friday evening in midsummer, with multiple overheated buses blocking lanes. But the teams are assured it'll be all right on the night. Within reason, everything's done for them. Everything's been thought through. We've prepared. We've prepared plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the legs of the swan. That's that's my that's the way I feel. You know, I'm the ones paddling. On. And and on the line, they're oh yeah, everything's fine. Everything's fine. You know? And if they can say that, then I've done my job. Come August, the temperature will be a bit cooler. It's 35 degrees here now, which can make it uncomfortable for the northern Europeans. Never experienced heat quite like this. I always find like in these hot conditions um, a little bit of growth just helps me out the gun because uh, the lacquer on the, on the stock and, and the sweaty skin tend to like stick a little bit so a little bit of growth between helps it mount easier. Edling is competing in the Olympic trap. His composure sees him through to the final but sadly it's not to be. Ed is the only GB athlete in the Olympic trap. Teammates Steve Scott and Tim Neal are in the double trap. Steve went to Beijing in 2008, but says he's a very different shooter now. Kind of, my emotions got the better of me there, um, and I had a slight lack of experience. Everything I'd done up to them was more or less self-taught, but uh, I learned a lot from it, and hopefully it's going to carry on to here. It doesn't quite seem real, it just seems, yeah, just, oh, this can't be happening. It's just, yeah, absolutely amazing. I think coming here now and, and seeing the Rangers and, you know, seeing the kind of excitement and, you know, seeing everybody getting ready, it's it's kind of sinking in a bit more and Copacabana Beach and going to Christ the Redeemer and things, you kind of think, oh, well, that's what everyone at the Olympic Games is going to be doing and, you know, we're doing it now because we're going, it's, it's fantastic. Tim and Steve don't make it through to the final, but for a change, winning is not the be-all and end-all. This is preparation for the big one. It's not just the athletes being put through their paces. Backstage, Laporte engineers are making the most of this dry run leading up to the Games, especially as it's the first ever use of an eco-clay at a World Cup event. Jury member Wilhelm Grill explains the test this new clay has to pass. We test the targets to have equal condition everywhere. That's why we designed this kind of tool. That a, a tool it should show the shot when you hit the, the target, it should simulate the same. The thing is, it is everywhere the same. The tool is everywhere the same, and so we can test the breakability. Two screws should touch the material, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six on the bottom as well, and then it makes click. You could hear, and then the target is broken. This is a guarantee that the targets are, as you can see, they are broken now. So the Eco Clay passes the stress test, and if all goes to plan, they will be going green at the Olympics. But did the shooters know? For me, it's a target in the sky and I'm going to try and shoot it. <laughs> News to me, I've just shot something I didn't realise now. In the double trap final, it comes down to a shoot-off between the Aussie youngster James Willett and the experienced Russian Vasily Mosin. After only two targets, James takes the gold medal. But has he peaked too soon? No, no, <laughs> I hope not. But. 
But um, no, I've been shooting a lot um, at home. It's been our summer at home in Australia, so I've been shooting lots. We had our nationals early in the year. Everything feels good. I just have to try and do the same thing at the Olympic Games and, um, and hopefully the weather's much the same. Everything was great, yeah. The cool Russian is disappointed to have lost out, but his Rio experience means he's leaving with some tricks up his sleeve. I got plenty of things, like tips before Olympics, but I'll keep it with me. All of them are special and not so <laughs> interesting for the common people, I think. Eco clays are just a small part of how shooting is evolving. Much of it is thanks to the athletes. Social media is a great way of spreading the word about our sport. Skeet shooter Eric Delaunay is a big fan of the We Shoot app and platform, and he's got a few fans of his own. We Shoot, yes, it's a good. Uh, it's like the Facebook of shooting, you know. Now, yes, it's very nice because you have a lot of um, a lot of shooter who are here. You can speak about shooting of everything and everybody knows and now oh, it's better than Facebook, yes. Because it's only for shooting, yes. Are you active on it? You... Yeah, 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 always, always, yes, yes. I have my own fan page, if I can <laughs> say it like that, you know. Oh my God, own fan page. Yes, yes, I'm a lot of followers. No, but yes, you have a, it's, no, it's good because I, I will put some picture of here, of the range, because you know, when you have some followers who who are not here or are not here, it's, you are, it's your job as a sportsman or a shooter that to, to send Peter, to, to tell them what you are doing, it's, I don't know, it's important. For the athletes chosen to represent their country at the Olympics, here in August, they're nearing the end of what will have been over four years of dedication with one goal in mind. And the World Cup is just another stepping stone taking them closer to Olympic glory.